Hey guys, TBL here with another video for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This time it's an actual gameplay match, and this is uh, one of my very first matches of the game, and it takes place on the uh, Nuketown 2025 playlist, which is just all Nuketown all the time. And this is a domination match, as you can see. Oh, this is a vault replay, so we're going to take a look at those two. But uh, this is just a quick domination match where I, uh, I, 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 I do fairly well. I do fairly well, you know. I, I decide to rock a shotgun on this because I literally have not seen a single person out of all the matches I've played using a shotgun, so I might just be the first person in the world to actually use a shotgun in Black Ops 2. But for those of you who haven't played yet, you can see, oh, nice headshot. But uh, for those of you who haven't seen yet, Nuketown 2025 is essentially the same structurally as uh, the original Nuketown from Black Ops 1. Just uh, better textures, you know, some upgraded things. And I actually just took my first domination point. That, uh, you've probably noticed with score streaks in this game, you get a fair amount of points for just uh, running the objective. Like right there, I got 200 points for um, just taking, just taking B. And that wound up giving me enough to get my UAV. Oh. Okay, now see, this is where, this is where we find out shotguns aren't very fun to use. The range in most of them is pretty terrible, and, uh, if you don't get, if you if you're not really close up, you're you're probably just going to get hit markers all day long. Some messed up grenade there. In this match, I am playing with my brother. You might see his name, Gen X100. He calls in like a million hunter killer drones in this match. Ah, oh, nice. Can we get assist, but a good shot. Boom, boom, headshot. Sweet. Unlock the uh, red dot sight. Like, see right there. See, look at that. That was two hits with a shotgun that just got hit markers. Uh, I'm gonna sit here for a second because uh, the enemy's spawning around there. If I run around now, I am going to get annihilated. I mean, a shotgun versus enemy spawn base, you're not gonna do well. Looks like there's somebody coming over right now. There he is, get him. Nice. Right, and so before you cry, camper, I had a shotgun. If I had gone out there, they would have annihilated me. <laughs> One man, alone, with a rocket launcher, gets murked, pretty much. But I don't know if you've noticed, but this game is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, no console game will ever hold up to a PC game in terms of visuals. But, um, oh, sweet, the vector. But, uh, this game is, like I said in one of my previous videos, the first console Call of Duty, I think, to actually display in full, you know, 1920 by 1080. And... I like it, it's beautiful. Caught him in the enemy spawn base, nice. Gosh, probably should have just kept with the vector there. Kept running through him, but I, that boosted me enough to get another UAV. Toss that up. Oof, the lack of distance on these things is painful. Right now, we are pretty much just dominating the enemies. I don't even know if they're trying, they're attempting to take any of the domination points. It seems like they're all just trying to get killed, so. More points for us. Sweet, we're 249. Check out the heavy armors. I haven't played around with any of the light machine guns in this game, so I don't know exactly how many shots they take to kill. Hopefully it's uh, like Modern Warfare 3, at the very minimum, three shots to kill. Bad aim kills me again. But that's alright, because in dying, I find a shiny new weapon. Ooh, surprise. Man, every time I get back there, I just wind up getting absolutely blasted thanks to the, uh, the enemies responding to like constantly. It's a bad thing when you get caught in the enemy spawn base uh, with nothing but a shotgun. The pump action one, no less. Hold on, did he just knife that sentry gun and it survived? Oh, I guess sentry guns can take more than one hit in this, finally. I was getting kind of sick of all my sentry guns and uh, trophy systems and whatnot. Getting taken out with one melee attack without even go, go. netting me a single kill. You know what? I am earnestly searching for a target to, to unleash the wrath of the small upon. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Rocket launchers are greater than snipers. As you can see, when you get a UAV up and uh, your friends start getting kills, Look at that, hit marker, hit marker, hit marker. 
But anyway, when your friends start getting kills off your UAV, that adds to your, uh, that adds to your score streak, to your, uh, your, your current score. Kind of like, a uh, Hardline Pro from Mario Warfare 3. Get points for, uh, or rather, you can get kill streaks from uh, doing team support actions. Alright, that's the end of round one. Which is, uh, I think something new. They don't usually cut Domination into, into two halves, but Black Ops 2, Domination gets cut into two halves, sort of like, uh, Search and Destroy. I don't think I was running a very good Domination. KD ratio in that first half, so let's make sure they ma they pay for it in the second round. Secure the objective. Securing C. There we go, it's still secure. 50 points for, uh, securing a neutral zone. I think you get 200 for... For securing enemy zones. But, oh, oh yeah. Now I gotta hide until I heal. Securing Bravo. And that's why I should have just stayed hiding. I need to remind myself I'm using a shotgun, and my name's not Rambo. Oh, oh. Where do you think you're going? There's no escape. Sweet. Looks like I unlocked the uh, Dev Brew camo for getting five one-hit kills with the Remington 870. Nice. <laughs> you think I'd learn my lesson by now, but no, I'm going to do it with a shotgun. We're pretty hard-headed. Oh, gotta love those. Crazy rocket launcher kills. And sneak on around here. Oh. Oh, I'm not even sure there was anything I could do in that situation. We're winning I've got this to fight. turn this, uh... Oh, how did I not know this? Uh, corner hiding man. Well, somebody else on my team got him. I mean, despite the fact that I'm dying all over the place, we're still pretty far ahead in terms of uh, in terms of the actual game score. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, and he thought going prone would save him. My small says otherwise. Oh, double kill. Nice. Friendly UAV inbound. We wound up taking A. Oh, enemy spawn base. Why would it... Now, I don't understand. Maybe it's just because they still had A, but... A fair amount of our, uh... People on my team are back there, so I don't know why the game would spawn them over there. That's on me, though. I should have known they'd have spawning back there again. Should have been ready for that. But it's alright. It's still just my first domination game. That didn't make much sense. Alright. Friendly hunter killer drone deployed. And there goes uh Jen with another hunter killer off. Whoa, what happened to me? It seems someone else has taken up the mantle of a guy with a rocket launcher. Oh. Close quarters combat. That's where shotguns shine. That was a little bit of lucky, steady aiming going on there. Ooh. And that's what happens when you're a bad sniper. Uh oh. <laughs> oh yeah, small is definitely gonna be one of my uh, small ganking. Yeah, it's over talk. It's gonna be one of my new favorite things to do. Yes, and that is what happens when you have a good squad. It's not in there. All flags secured. Maintain current posture. Hunter killer drone deployed. Got another hunter killer up. UAV. Nah, I switched out for a scorpion. And that boosted me up to a lightning strike, which I'm going to go ahead and drop back here and call in. Like I said in a previous video, this is a lot like, uh... Lightning strikes are a lot like mortar strikes from... Yes, double kill. They're a lot like mortar strikes from Black Ops. See, that pushed me up. Aw, oh, man. There goes that streak. I think I might have been, uh, one away from the Dragonfire kill streak. Anyway, I still got my UAV, so... I'll use that as soon as the next the one that's already up goes out. Oh, you got a dragon fry. Dragon fire. I think the next video I'm going to do is going to show off uh, a few more of the, the score streaks. I know in a couple matches I got dragon fires, and in one I made my way all the way up to the VTOL warship. Good stuff. Hey, if you didn't notice that uh, that guy laying down there was controlling the dragon fire. That's my brother. He's a good kid. Alright, this game is four points away from victory. We're at 198 to 113. Oh! I sacrificed my life for the good of the team. So yeah, there you go. I wound up pushing my KDR back up. Oh, went 34 and 26. Not bad. Not bad at all. Especially for my, what is this, my second, third game in the, 
Yeah, so not bad at all. Well, anyway, there you go, guys. That is a, a quick domination match on Nuketown 2025. As always, this is the Black Link. Stay frosty.